What's up, everybody? My name is White Dragons, and welcome to the show. So, I am going to move my mic a little bit, so you're going to hear a little <laughs> noise, maybe. If not, that's okay. And uh, I hope this is going to be a good enough setting. Um, my mic is very, very sensitive to the point that if I actually go above, a hey, we're in version 14B, awesome. Um, if my mic, if my, if my voice output is higher than my mic sensitivity, it actually, well, you'll, you'll see it in a, like, um, a, like a survival 1.7.5, something like that. You'll see that my mic, it just goes absolutely shit bad crazy. So I have to be very careful when getting really loud, but we're, let's get back into this. This is Towns. I've been playing this for a while and it's really, really good. And, uh, it's kind of like, um, Settlers and... Uh, what's that other one? Um, Settlers and um, Dwarf Fortress with a combination of like I don't know I, I don't know how to explain it to you, but it's on Steam and uh, I got it for a really low price. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get it for that price as well, but it's on Steam I think for fourteen something now. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, let's go over the options real quick. Uh, as you can see, this is basically in its alpha stage. We're in version fourteen B. If you look over here to the right. Um, downright 14 <clears throat> V, VB, or 14 VB, oh, get the hell away from me, whatever the hell that was, um, I'm not really gonna go into this, you can go into it, the important thing here is actually, uh, where is that, options, uh, no, is it, uh, game, uh, let's see, pause the game when it starts off, so, I'm just gonna leave that on, auto save disabled, siege is normal, you can have siege is hard, harder, insane, disable, I'm just gonna have it on normal, pause the game when a siege starts, yes, pause the game when a caravan, caravan comes on, yes, allow berry system on, and berry system basically is, if we go back this way, we go over to new game, which we will, uh, maps, and what you got, what you see here is basically you can have a mixed, you can have a jungle, um, I think let's go with mixed. Now, the buried system is, is you can actually download your town onto town server or townsmods.net and um, it will load into other people's worlds so, or other people's towns. So like say for example you have this huge town that you built and you download it, you load it to uh, townsmods.net people will be able to dig and find your town so somewhere out in the world there's a town that I built that somebody's ex discovering right now maybe in a dungeon so I think that was pretty cool so we're gonna use local buried towns and this is the save file so we're just gonna name this white dragons villa oh oh spelling wrong villa there we go all right so it's gonna generate a map all right, and this, depending on how fast your computer is, will generate at a proper speed. Like Nomar, for example, Nomar took me 15 minutes to upload or to generate for a very large map. Smaller maps took me five, but the Nomar took a lot longer. And I really like this one because it's it's more of a managing system than it is anything else. Now, let's go over real quick what we got here. We've got basically the 3D model, which shows you your height. So you can got that. You can use click on that. This is flattens. So like say for example, like right here, you could right now it's not on. See it's been turned off. But if I turn it on, you can see it just flattens everything around it. So you can see around it. You've got the grid, which if you have problems and you need help find you know highlighting stuff, you can do that. Uh, this is the depth level. You can I normally just use my mouse, my wheel on my mouse actually. Uh, we always start at level one. This is where you would always. This is the, this is the gnome or gnomes. This is the townspeople point of view, except you're looking up. Okay, you have speeds. You can oop. You can increase speed. You can lower the speed. You can hit play or pause. This is your settings. Of course, if you need to go back, save, or you can hit escape and do the same thing. And uh, this is your mini map. You can click anywhere on it to find any location except where your people are which are still right there 
you uh, you carry 11 people in the beginning, and they can either die or not. It's up to you. Uh, so that's been explained. Let's talk about the gold. Gold is from caravans that come in. You can sell and trade with the go with the caravan, uh, and we'll probably do that later on because this is going to be a let's play. So it's going to be a little later on the way I deal with it. But gold will play an important part. Stop moving. Gold will play an impart, entire part. Uh, now let's go down. You have the ter uh, trade caravan, which we don't have a caravan. But if you, a caravan had arrived in town, you would see a little message that says caravan has arrived in town. You just click there and you can make your trade. Heroes, you have to do a certain thing in the game itself in order to uh, set the minimum map level to explore. I don't want to, I'll keep it at 19. Um, you, have to, you have to have certain things done and certain priorities done and certain things built in order to get a hero. And a hero's job basically is to go and explore dungeons. And they level up. So we're not going to do too much dungeon exploring until we get our first hero. Once we have our first hero, then we're going to start dungeon exploring. And we'll assign two guards to guard him, I think. That's how it works. You've got the day, the month, and the year. Of course, this is day one, month one, and year one. Um, I've seen some people have 18 years. And that's a damn lot. They had a very big place. This is your priorities. I think this is what the settlers game used to do. But as it stands right now, baking and cooking is number one. Gathering and harvesting is number two. Mining and digging is number three. And then you can just, you know, change the order if you want to. Feeding is the last thing that they are going to do. They refuse to do anything else. They'll except in order these things so it's kind of important to rem remember that however let me be honest with you don't mess with this for too much in the very beginning okay and basically this is an overview so like let's say for example um food and i needed to know how much bread we had in stock because they just keep making bread well this will constantly update for you so you can constantly see how much you have weapons armor items chairs things like that kind of important soldiers you change your villagers into soldiers and we'll, we'll change we'll, we'll do that in, a, in a, maybe a couple episodes earlier but you can make your own groups for example guards group for, or you can change it over to a patrol group you can name the group if you wish uh, we'll do a lot of that on our own accord and then here's our villagers our villagers stats basically um, this is done by two Frenchmen, I believe, so they're going to have a lot of French names. So, if I screw up on a couple of them, I apologize. And there are double names in the game, so I think I had my population up to 150-something, and I had like nine Jasmines or like something like that. It was, it was crazy. Um, you can see what they're equipped with. You can auto-equip them. You can give them. You can convert them to a soldier. You can change specific jobs, like this is the only thing I want you to do and you can also assign them to a group job which you create uh here by making a group job and of course you can auto equip all the group you can change the job or you can disable the group so that's pretty interesting and you go up and down using these to see what your people are doing as you can see the scroll you can scroll in the background while this is happening and be able to see everything you need all right this is your day and night cycle as it shows events it's dawn and it's cold and that'll constantly change this thing will constantly blink so don't pay any attention to it this thing is basically telling you that the game is paused what speed is on etc heroes messages basically heroes are good when they come in they'll be like hey such and such killed a slime and it'll be there this is where your people will be at this is their combat log um, something comes up and last but not least these are your annotations which basically says a chicken has died or such and such has died things like that okay now over here basically is your is your uh, stock priority you can have them immediately grab five fish or whatever I guess that's a bad example or you can have them stock up to five fish now they will constantly stock. Now why is this play an important part? Because in priorities, it says gathering and harvesting is priority number two. So until this reaches five in the barrel at all times, they will constantly go back, fish, and put it in. Okay? But fishing will come later on because that's actually down the line. But we have the poultry and we have the actual planting. So that's pretty cool. Now if you notice over here, I've hit the I've hit this button. Now, if, you, if I scroll away, 
it disappears, but if I go close to it, it reappears. You'll constantly see me turn this on and off, constantly watching what the villagers are doing or what my people are doing. Butchering, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can butcher, to, uh, for example, butcher's table, pig or cow, or unfailure or sheep, or shorn, shorn, shorn sheep, or wild sheep, or shorn wild sheep. What? Okay, wild pig, or wild cover, cow, or wild unfailure. Basically, they'll get the bones, and they'll have a stockpile. So you could actually stockpile this to five, and all of these to five. They'll go out, kill the animal, get the bones, put them in a barrel, or put them in the area at your destination. Cooking. It's like same thing here for like bread. Let's say I want them to make sure there's always five bread, no matter what. They will always cook five bread, uh, and this they will also automatically um, make the amount of bread that they need to eat so that's kind of important and you'll understand later on what I mean by that what I can tell you is you'll hear me constantly go stop eating fat asses yes you'll hear that a lot even though I'm kind of fat cooking is actually different from baking they're two different areas two different zones we'll go over zones real quick in just a second meats basically this is uh, roast when you butcher this is what you can make them fish for example and these are the soups you have to have the uh, crock pot or the the bowl for that, and I'll explain that. It is it. Oh gosh, it's really really late. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, military. Military is pretty much easy as well. You just basically like say for example wood. Uh, same concept as the bread or the fish. Say I want to immediately have them fix five helmets. They're gonna immediately fix those five helmets. Okay, but I want to stockpile ten of them. So, not only are they going to make five, but they're also going to make ten to keep in stockpile at all times. We don't want them to do that right now because we want them to focus on living. Um, but basically, you have wood, you have bone, spiderite, hobgoblin, and the, it goes down and down. Now, I am not exactly sure what is considered the strongest and what is considered not. If it's like this, maybe, or it goes like that, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I know gold and silver are very hard, are very hard to come by. So weapons, same thing, except you don't you you can't use spiderite or um, you can use spiderite and and goblin ore and whatnot in the others. But like you can only use gold, silver, bone. So yeah. Alright, and then tongs and whatnot. These things are used to actually create other things. So, like say for example, tongs. We need the tongs to make a smelter. Simple as cake. We need renewed fire or burnt uh, burnt cooking fire. Or we need renewed fire for low cooking fire. So basically, we would make these and then we would have these come in to fix that. Alright, and then barrels. You can make different types of barrels. Raw material barrels are basically just that. Raw material. Wood, dirt, stone, stuff like that. Raw food barrels are actually like wheat. Um, wheat, bread. I mean, no, no. Wheat, butchered meat, um, fish, stuff like that. Prepared food barrel is where your bread, your cooked meats, and things like that will go. Also, in the raw material barrel, the first one is where a lot of your other miscellaneous stuff goes, like your dyes and things like that. Bamboo, sugar cane, I believe, goes in the raw food barrel. And sugar cubes would go in the prepared food barrel or the raw food barrel. I can't remember. Then you have the tool chest, which which of course is where you put your tools, uh, like the tongs and stuff like that. Then you have your decorative chest for decoration purposes to make people happy. And you have your IT chest, which is the special items, the spiderite, the hobgob hobgoblin, or goblin or whatever the hell it's called. And of course you have your armor cabinet and you have your weapon cabinet. You can only hold 10 at a time in any of these. Okay, that's important because when we start our building, you'll see me instantly try to get barrels going for wheat and barrels going for bread and that's because I want to make sure I'm occupying the area around me these are the stones if I tell them um, for example I always want I always want five logs cut at all times and ready and this is where the barrels play in because they will go in the load they will cut down five trees 
put them in the barrel in a store but we can't do that right now because we don't have anything but as you can see you can put wool uh, you can tell them I always want such and such amount of wool this still needs to be fixed because it just says hide skinning table it just says wool 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 so they're probably going to add stuff later on so um, this is your destroyer uh, or burner so you can just say like say for example I have I cut down a mountain and there's 60 pieces of dirt okay well I only need like 15 of them even though dirt's kind of used for decorative plants um, they're in my way I can just say always burn six dirt all the time and they'll walk over and they'll actually burn the dirt it doesn't do anything it just deletes it or you can manually delete them if you want to yourself I like doing it the burner way and last but not least we have vanity items which is hides and skins again I don't know this right here you got wool saber scooting what scooting beaten feather what the heck weird stuff uh, flowers colors colors plays an important part when you're building okay we talked about that let's talk about this bar right here let's get rid of this too this bar right here is harvesting actually when you keep that up so uh, harvesting basically is you will harvest or go pick stuff chop is for trees cut is cutting bushes down where they don't exist anymore dig is digging on the ground um, mining of course is mining the mountain areas or mining in front of the person so you would use the dig tool to dig below the person under or you would use the mining tool to dig dig it below them or dig in front of them preferably the shovel's meant for digging just put easy as cake 